hey babes welcome back to my channel so today i am going to be showing you how you can create a fluid nail art style um without the mess without having to waste lots and lots of polish and how i'm going to create that today is using this new stamping plate it's actually from nail artisan um, i think they've changed the name to nail artisan cosmetics but i think maybe now they've changed it back because of confusion but anyway i will leave links to where you can find it in the description box below so it has got a backing the edges are a little bit sharp but not anything that crazy so just so you know this is how there's like the size of the plate this is next to an uber chic plate so actually i i don't know why i kind of thought it was a similar size to the uber chic plate but it isn't but to be fair the images are really large so if you've got long nails this is going to be uh, really good for you so even though the uber chic plate is larger like the images themselves are actually quite smaller whereas the nail artisan plate the, the images are quite big so I'm going to be using um, the Perfect White, which you can see here. I did review this whole collection um, last week, so if you've not seen it, I can leave links to that. And I am going to apply a No Wipe Top Coat over the top, just because I'm going to be applying like, um, like a smooshy base. Um, so I didn't want it that being affected by the sort of tacky layer. So I am going to be using a couple of images and kind of like layering this up. To be honest, when I saw this plate, I kind of thought that I'd be able to just swatch it as is. Um, but it just, it needed a little bit more sort of playing around with. So I'm going to be doing a smooshy base and these are the polishes that I have used. So I'm just going to be placing it down on my nail mat. So I'm going to be using the three different colours. And then I'm going to be using a stamper. I'm using a clear stamper just for easiness sake on seeing, um, you know, where the polishes are going to be placed. But obviously you don't need to use a clear stamper. You can just use a normal stamper if that's all that you have. So I am using stamping polishes as opposed to normal polishes. So, you know, you do kind of need to work quite quickly because obviously stamping polishes are known for drying quickly. So I'm just getting a clear stamper. This is, I think this is actually my clear jelly stamper stamper and then i am just placing the sort of smooshed up colors onto the nail like so you kind of need this bit of a like smooshy sort of base um trying to get that effect um of the fluid nail art which is so cool i've never actually done the proper fluid nail art i've never got around to getting that little topper that you meant to use um to be honest it kind of like how much polish that you use and the waiting time did kind of put me off. That's why I was so like excited when Nail Artisan brought out this plate. And it was my lovely nail friend as well, Stephanie Rose Nails, that uh, worked alongside Alex to create this plate. So this is a big shout out to you. It's something you may not know, but they came up with this um, idea together. Um, so I uh, couldn't wait to have a bit of a play with this. So, I, you know, as soon as it came out, I purchased it straight away. <laughs> so what I'm showing you here is with the smooshy base, like you're not going to get that exact look with every single nail. But that's kind of what's nice about it. Like it doesn't have to be perfect, but you kind of still get in that smooshy look. So it looked different on every nail, but it kind of still worked in my opinion. So I've used these... Um, hit the bottle polishes actually these polishes i did get from nail artisan as well um, and i'll provide links in the description box below so again i'm kind of doing a bit of a smooshy sort of stamping where i'm going to be blending these colors together um and layering it upon that sort of pinky base so i was going to use the white but then change my mind because well you'll see i used the white a bit later on so I'm just going to sort of scrape this now. I didn't want to like overly scrape it. So I'm just sort of doing that a couple of times. Then I'm picking it up with my stamper. So I'm doing all this in real time as well, just so you can see. So that's that image there. And then I'm going to place that over the top. Trying to create that sort of fluid look. So I'm going to just bring it a little bit closer. So you can see there, it's sort of starting to take its form you're never going to get it to look exactly how the fluid nail art looks i don't think not with this plate anyway um but you can get it pretty close and i'd probably say don't have a specific 
thing in mind when you are trying to achieve this this is what i had and it it led to a couple of hours of frustration in the end <laughs> um but yes but i kind of got there in the end and i was kind of happy with this look i will show you like my attempts beforehand um but there you go so that's kind of what i do i add those kind of two images together over a smooshy base so i'd love to know your thoughts on whether this looks like the fluid nail art or not um something else to bear in mind as well which it's kind of a good thing but these plates are really 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 well etched so it kind of ripped up my cotton wool um which kind of left annoying little fibers all over the plate um which I don't know whether you can see it or not it's kind of like all gathered a bit there um but i just got a lint roller and i just went over the plate a few times and as you can see it kind of got all that fluff off like i say it's a good thing that it's deeply etched in that you'll be able to pick the images up well but to be honest after many many hours of trying to get this right and having to to do that with every single one it got on my nerves a little bit at the end just being completely honest and just to sort of like sparkle this up and glam it up i'm using another madame glam polish um and it's kind of a bit of a like a shimmer topper and place that over the top as well so i didn't add like a top coat before i did this step i just applied this straight over the nail and it just adds that gorgeous bit of sparkle and it, i don't know it kind of just really helped to sort of i don't know bring that little bit of depth to the design so i really liked that sort of look on the top so i'm just gonna i'm this is sped up now i'm just showing you one more time how i achieve that like smooshy base just using these three colors so try not to overly scrape picking it up and then placing that on the nail like so so there you go and then I'm coming in with the white. So, you know, let me know your thoughts. I know I was being like overly picky with this. I think, like I say, because I had like a specific thing in mind, it was a little bit dis disappointing that I couldn't quite achieve it. But you let me know. Does it look like the fluid nail art? Or, you know, is it close enough? Should I have stopped? Should I have not added the white layer? Um, let me know. And obviously, once you are happy, you want to go ahead and seal all that in with your top coat. And again, I'm using Madame Glam, and this is a no wipe top coat, and that needs to be cured in your lamp for 30 seconds if you're using like a, a an LED lamp. And this is it all together. So I think all together it actually looked really nice. I'm just sort of going to zoom in just so you can kind of see that fluid shape. I think it'd be better if this was like a layering plate like you could kind of like build up the layers and get that exact fluid nail art that you were looking for so these were kind of like my fails beforehand but you know i don't know you might really like them but i, I don't know i just it I just have one of those days where it just doesn't quite go how you planned this was one of them and i'm probably being overly picky <laughs> um, so please forgive me if i am but let me know your thoughts on these nails and um, this is it just outside in the natural daylight as well um and yeah just let me know does this look like the fluid nail art um and would you recreate it uh, would you buy this stamping plate let me know in the comments box below but thank you so much for watching and take care and i'll see you in the next one bye